Oh, yeah. I, I think that, you know, I wanted to play hockey, but I was not good enough. <laughs> That's the bottom line. And, and for me, I think playing hockey, you have to, um, you know, like when you play like Mario Lemieux or Sidney Crosby, you're not only playing hockey, you're thinking two, three shots ahead of... So this is what we do in science. I mean, we, we, I see a problem, but I'm trying to think two, three steps you know, ahead to try to make sure that if I use this drug or I use this, what's going to happen next? What is the side effect? So I always you know, view my life like this a little bit and trying to think ahead, but sometimes it doesn't work that way. I, I think so. I think injury prevention for me, I mean, I'm biased a little bit. I think everybody need to harvest our stem cells and bank them. I mean, it's a no-brainer. Let's say if you're a Sidney Crosby, um, if you want to play, you know, in the peak of your career for longer. So if you bank your stem cells, you know, when you're young, then maybe that give you a hedge to do that. And like I said today, I mean, you can use those stem cells to help the healing process. You get an injury, an ECL injuries. You can use them. They're not going to... The just the stem cells are not going to repair the ECL. You need an orthopedic surgeon to do the surgery, but they take a year to come back to the game. So if you inject your stem cell into the knee joint, can you improve that? Can you reduce the time of return? And I think that's really an aware, I think for me, injury prevention will really help. And another thing I talk about today is the fact that, so sometime when we do a surgery, um, one thing that we have done here in Vail with Mark Philippon is really to start to use a drug to prevent fibrosis. And now when Mark do a hip or a knee, so he put his patient on, on Losartan, which is a drug to prevent fibrosis. But the thing that you need to know is fibrosis will predispose this patient or these athletes for second injuries. So if you block the scar tissue or fibrosis in the first place, then you're going to prevent the second injuries. And that's often happened, you know, with those, sur with those athletes. So they get the surgery, they get an injury, they get the repair, and they get injured right after. It's because that scar sometimes is there, and you need to prevent that. I, I think things are changing. I mean, you know, now more than ever, I mean, people are thinking. It, the common sense also, you know, what we, we heard a talk here today, I mean, the common sense to try to prevent an injuries is very important. We need to educate those kids, especially those young kids that goes to those athletes, you know, and they go to the Olympics, and you, you, you need to give them common sense tips to prevent injuries. But when they do have injuries, now with all this new technology that we're having in our hand, I really believe that, you know, me, the way I see this is, at birth, I think that, you know, we should have all our stem cell bank. I mean, for the next generation of athletes, not for the one that are here now, but the, for the next generation. Think about it. If we all have our stem cell bank, then that's going to help them to heal faster. Maybe not to prevent the injuries, but to heal faster after the injuries is a big deal. And I think that can make a huge difference. Where did you learn here? I learned that, you know, uh, it, it is, you know, um, injury prevention is going to be a big field because um, we always try to, to repair the injuries. As scientists, we think about what can I do to accelerate the healing process. But now, by being here in this room, now I start to think about what can I do to prevent the injuries in the first place? And a lot of things can be done that way. I mean. A lot of patients, you know, that, um, you know, what we're doing, you know, is the drug that we're using to prevent fibrosis, for example. Maybe this is a drug down the road that we can use also, uh, you know, uh, maybe to prevent the first injury to occur because, again, those drugs, you know, will prevent fibrosis in the first place. But, yes, I think as scientists, we always think about if something breaks, how can I repair it? How can I? But now here they push you to think about, okay, so how about if we prevent this injury to occur in the first place? What can you do with all your molecular tools that you're having or your, all your cell therapies? Can you do something? And having a meeting like this push us to think a little bit further. And, you know, and, and again, I think that um, at the end of the day, that can really help to prevent injuries in the first place. 
for Spry being as affiliated with USOC and IOC is it's a pretty big deal because they don't have a lot of of people that you know can treat those patients. So having this affiliation, you know, it, it's great. But also having the advantage to see those athletes. Again, I used to say to people, I can develop an approach to improve tissue repair, but if I use this on someone, you know, that you know, very few people know, then maybe it's gonna have an impact. But if I develop something and I treat the best of the best with it, then I think that, you know, really, you know, the, the dissemination of this information will be multiplied by 20 and 30, and, you know. So I, I really believe that working with those athletes, you know, um, you know, it's very important for us. And for me, I really believe in biomarkers. I, I believe that, like I said in my talk today, prostate cancer is not a cancer that kills people nowadays. It's not because it's not a bad cancer. It is because we have a biomarker called PSA, prostate serum albumin, that we can detect in your blood and we can detect before the cancer develops. If, if we develop those biomarkers for those athletes, I'm very interested to know why a super athletes and a very good athletes, what's the difference between the two? So now we can look at blood draw from those people and look at proteins and try to compare that. But also we can use those biomarkers for concussion. We can use those biomarkers for so many things. Because right now, if you have a concussion and you're being treated, the bottom line is very often, we don't know if you're ready to go back to play. We trust you because, because we, we don't have a real tools to determine you know, if you're ready or not. If, I, if you broke, if you have a bone fractures, I look at an, an X-ray and I say, hey, the bone is healed here. With concussion, you cannot say that. It's too abstract for that. So this is when the biomarkers that I'm very interested by, because those biomarkers, we hope one day will be able to say, this person has a concussion and those proteins are high in his blood. And when the concussion is gonna be yield, then those factors are gonna be low in his blood. And, and again, if we can use those biomarkers, I think that's gonna be going a long way toward not only injury, but injury prevention as well, because we can look at those markers in their blood. Yeah, I think, you know, having, you know, in a room like what we have, you know, in the last two days, people that are trainer, people that they do rehab, people that do molecular stuff, people that do surgery, it's always really important. I mean, because we, we all have different views. We all look at the same problem a different way. And I, and I really believe that, you know, this is really the future, is to really combine discipline. And, and this is not how we are trained, because we are trained to be specific. But the bottom line, if you want to try to develop an approach to prevent injuries, you have to be, you have to be multi, uh, multidisciplinary. You have to have people from different disciplines too. And this meeting was a very good example of that more so than the summit, because the summit is all regenerative medicine, tissue engineering. But I really, I'm really looking forward maybe to bring some people from this group to the, the Vail Scientific Summit as well, because I want the people from the Vail Scientific Summit to learn what have learned here, because I'm sure that, you know, with all this new technology that we're developing, some of them can be used for injury prevention. But unless you're sitting in a room and you see how, what's going on, you don't know about this. And, and I think that is really in a why having this group here, multidisciplinary, um, can really you know, help to prevent injury down the road. If it's happening somewhere else, I'm not aware of, because this thing, this is just an example of it. I mean, you know, um, Stenman Philippon Research Institute and Stenman Clinic and the IOC and USOC is only an example of, you know, uh, what's happening here that's very unique. And, and, and again, I mean, um, no, I, I'm not aware of anywhere, because a lot of meetings that we go, you know, I get invited for a meeting in gene therapy to talk only about gene therapy, and we're 4,000 people that talk about gene therapy. I get invited to a meeting to talk about stem cell technology, but we're 3,000 people talking about stem cell technology. We're all the same. We're all working, but different application. Some people work on muscular dystrophy, some people work on cardiovascular disease and everything. But here, 
you bring a group of people that has different expertise. And that is really what I like about it because you don't have those meetings out there because meetings usually are focused in one technology. Look at, uh, ask Mark Philippon, he probably go to an orthopedic surgery meeting, but not all orthopedic surgery meeting is going to meeting about the hip. And you have people that going meeting about the knees, all ACL, MCL, and so forth. We're so specialized, but here is kind of, we bring everybody with a discipline that would be uh, important to improve tissue repair or to prevent injuries. And, you know, I mean, that's really what makes this place unique. And, and I think that I really believe that this is the way to go in the future is to invite people with uh, different discipline to put them toward a, t a common goal to try to prevent injuries in this case.